guys, it's your girl Junine Emma Pola. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I hope you will subscribe if this is your first time seeing me. I do a lot of different types of videos like lifestyle, fitness, faith, beauty, a lot of different stuff and sometimes tech reviews. Like I did an Apple Watch review and that did really well. So today I'm going to be doing another one of those. I know this is typically not up my alley, but I have spent a full week messing around with this beautiful baby, the new MacBook Air 13 inch, and I'm going to be giving you guys all my thoughts on this computer. I am so excited for this computer because there's so many great things about it and I can't wait to share that with you guys. Apple flew me out to New York last week. I spent two days with them. I went to the keynote, went to the launch party, learned all about the computer. They gave me early access to the computer, which thank you so much, Apple. And I have now formulated all my thoughts on this computer. So if you're just a college student, just your everyday gal, if you're a YouTuber, Whatever, I'm gonna give you guys the full deets on whether you should get this or not, or if you should ask for it for Christmas or not. So, here we go. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and let's just get right into it. So, let's talk about this laptop right here. It starts at the price of $1,199. You can get it in three different colors. You can get it in silver, space gray, as well as gold, which is the color I have right here, and I absolutely adore this color. It is really designed. Look at this beauty. The other ones did not have this black framing, did not have retina display. The retina display gives it this beautiful HD quality and the colors just pop. Like, let me tell you, just look at that beauty. They also added a touch ID button right here. So you can, you can buy products with this. You can log in your computer with this, which I absolutely love. I wish my old computer had this so badly. It makes logging in your computer so extremely fast and I absolutely love that feature that they added that. It's beautiful, it's thin, it's really lightweight, and it comes with two ports on the side and one headphone jack. Now these ports are the new Thunderbolt USB-C ports. You can do HDMI with them, you can do SD readers, you can charge with it, like you can plug in a lot of different things into these ports. As long as you get one of these converters, you can buy these at Apple, you can get these converters and you can plug in anything into them. They're really fast and it's kind of cool, it limits how much stuff is on the side in the end, but it is a little bit frustrating if you have an older MacBook like I do. I have a 2015 MacBook Pro and mine has all the regular ports on it, so it's a little bit frustrating kind of going from that to this and needing all the converters, but it is kind of nice because it saves a lot of space and all you gotta do is just bring one of these with you where you go and you're good to go. This thing is fast, it's quick, and it has a great battery life. I have used this now for over a week and the battery has not died on me yet. Compared to my old laptop, which I said I have the 2015 MacBook Pro, this battery life is heaps better. Heaps, heaps, heaps better. Compared to the old MacBook Air, they have increased the volume quality and the volume levels. With this being as little as it is, I'm actually really impressed with the sound quality and how loud the speakers actually are. So let me give you guys a sample of that. guys get the point. It's really loud for a little thing like this. I'm very impressed by that. One thing that I'm not impressed by is the camera quality on this. So on the photo booth and FaceTime, you'll notice that it's actually quite pixelated and blurry and it's really not that good of quality. I was expecting a little bit more from this. So here's a quick sample of what this webcam looks like. I'm just editing this video and wanted to include this really quickly so you guys can see a real clip from this camera. So it's a little bit blurry as you guys can see. It's not terrible, but it's also not the best. So there's just a quick sample of that. You can also get up to 1.5 terabytes of space on this laptop, which I think is incredible for something being this small. And I actually don't have that size, but I wish I did. But if you want that option, you can have a lot more space on this computer. I actually have two terabytes on this computer, which I do not regret ever getting that. So I always recommend people to just add as much size as possible. So you don't worry about that whole thing popping up being like, yo, you're out of space. And you're like, I know, go away. It's so annoying. That's why iCloud is there, I guess. Speaking of iCloud, now that I have both these laptops, it's actually been very interesting to see how the two can go hand in hand together. So it's actually pretty cool. Once you sign into your iCloud, you can get your files from your other computer onto the next. When you make changes on this one computer, I can see the changes on this computer. So that's actually very, very interesting and very nice. But my only thing is, I don't really know how to get the laptop to not always share the information because I kind of wanted this as just like a brand new computer with not always having all these files on here. So I'm still trying to figure out how do I not get those files 
from here to here because I want this to have as much space as possible. This one is two terabytes. This one is not two terabytes. This computer cannot fit everything that that computer has. You get what I mean? So that's just a little small thing, but it is cool. If you want to have them just work hand in hand together, you can totally do that. Let's talk photo editing and video editing. Now this can do both of those. I have Final Cut Pro on this MacBook as well as Lightroom. It can handle both of those, but you're not gonna get, you know, a 100 quality of speed. Like the processors are not gonna be as comparable to something like this in a MacBook Pro. Another thing I noticed when editing was when I rendered out the video, it didn't flip out on me. It didn't go wild and the fans weren't just like, help! Like it was quiet, it was silent when I edited and also when I rendered out the video and it, the rendering did not take that long. Also again, it was a simple vlog so it didn't take that long to render that out and it was just quiet. When I render out on this clunker, oh my lord, you think this thing's about to fly away, like that's how loud the fan is. But on here, it was nice and quiet and I was very, very impressed with that to say the least. It did handle photo editing well, but it's not going to be as fast as a MacBook Pro. It also may not be able to handle raw images as well and if you're trying to do a really big edit with a lot of graphics and a lot going on and maybe special effects, I don't think this is going to be the computer for you. But if you're a vlogger, if you're doing simple videos, sit down videos, just maybe not the biggest size of footage, then this computer will be good for that. I absolutely just love the size of this computer. I've traveled with it already. I've been to meetings with it and have brought it with me. No charger needed and just lugged it around with me. It's so small, so tiny, so compressed and I absolutely just love the size of this and I love the battery life of it. And I love the new trackpad. I love the keyboard. The keyboard is a little bit noisy. Are you guys into ASMR of keyboards? Here, let me give you a sample. That's how the keyboard sounds. If that bothers you, then I'm sorry, but for the weirdos like me, I actually enjoy that sound for some odd reason. It's very satisfying to me. So I'm sitting all day being like Okay, I'm totally kidding. That's not what I do. But I really do love this keyboard. Overall, you guys, I am obsessed with this computer. This is the computer that I have been looking for. As someone who travels a lot, um, doing emails a lot, editing, photo editing, it's got everything I need for real. If I'm going to be doing bigger editing projects or editing more raw files, or I need a computer with way more storage to handle all the footage, this is not gonna be the computer for that. This is for simple things, maybe if you're a college student, if you're just a vlogger and you don't have that many files, or you're not doing that many graphics, um, if you're just someone on the go, you just need a really lightweight, transportable, is that a word? Yeah, transportable MacBook and you are in meetings a lot or whatever, like this will be the laptop for you. However, I will still be using my MacBook Pro for bigger projects because this also has majority of my files still on it and everything. So I will still, I won't be throwing this away or I won't be getting rid of this one. This one's still my OG baby. But when I'm traveling, when I'm going to meetings, when I'm on the go, when I'm at a coffee shop trying to get emails done, brainstorming, networking, whatever I'm doing, this is what I'm going to be bringing with me. I've just also been noticing that, you know, lately I've been gravitating towards this computer more when I'm chilling in bed, when I'm upstairs watching YouTube videos. Like, I've just been naturally gravitating to grabbing this one more because it's quiet, it's lightweight, the speakers are still great, the quality is beautiful, the battery life is way better, way better than this one because this one's also a little bit old, it's been worn out. So overall you guys, I am obsessed with this computer. I, I, I love it, I really, really do. When you open up the box, all that you're gonna get in the box is just the charger and you're going to get the MacBook, nothing else. Well I guess you'll get a couple stickers and some instructions but that's it but this is what you will be getting in the box, the charger and the computer. Another thing that I got for it is a leather case, so you can just, just shut this bad boy and just slide it right on in. And boom, you are on the go, ready to throw this in your bag, in your backpack, wherever you're going, it's ready for you to do that. So those are my final thoughts on this beautiful computer right here. You guys, are you now going to get it? Are you going to ask for it for Christmas? What are your thoughts on it? I seriously, you guys, love this computer. It's exactly what I've been looking for and I'm forever grateful that Apple hooked me up with that. Thank you so much, Apple. If you guys have any more questions about this computer, please let me know. But if I didn't answer any of your questions, obviously I will have more links listed down below so you guys can look up all the specific specs you might be looking for on the actual Apple website or other reviews. And so if I didn't answer your question, ask it down below or maybe find another review that might be able to help you out with that. But hopefully I did answer the majority of your questions. And hopefully this video was beneficial to you and I did a good job. Again, I'm not a tech review kind of girl, but 
I'm still a nerd and I still love talking about this type of stuff, so hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's Janine Amapola, and we can chit chat on there. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. I will be seeing you guys very, very soon in another video or vlog, so stay tuned for that. And peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys. Bye.